This is KITV4 News at 6. It's food that so many of us just sort of pass by. Bread fruit grown throughout the Pacific and now a movement to get more farmers to grow it and more of us to eat it. A series of workshops being held around the islands by Ho'oluka Ulu Revitalizing Breadfruit Project to kind of teach you everything from growing and picking ulu and how to make it a business. Now, tomorrow's workshop on Oahu at the Bishop Museum already sold out. So we spoke with one of the presenters about what makes breadfruit or ulu so special and so ono. And it's all new at six. Meet Bulu, the ulu tree, thriving in Pololo Valley and bearing its first fruit, the pride of the Peros family. Arborist, horticulturist, and neighbor Heidi Bornhorst walked the family through planting bulu, making sure it was planted as deep as the original pot and then surrounded by mulch and a circle of stones. That makes it easier to mow, and it's better for the tree if you don't have grass right up to it. Two and a half years later, it begins to bear fruit, a healthy food, and a main staple for the diet of many in the Pacific. Ulu, it's such an awesome Hawaiian starch. It's so healthy for us. Um, it's what we call a non-resistant starch. So it doesn't spike your blood sugar the way white rice does or white bread. So what do you do with ulu? We turn to the highway in Kaka'ako for ideas. It's really simple. It's, uh, there's uh, so many uh, ways of using it. You can do a savory dish, desserts. I like to use it as starch or even like a poke. In place of rice, we do a, like a sauteed uh, ulu with a little bit of butter, uh, some uh, kuhuina inamono. A quick saute brings the outside gold and crunchy, the inside like a baked potato. I'm just going to take some whipped cream now. So I use ulu basically in two ways, either right or over right, which they call pala. Um, I really like the ulu pala because it's very soft, very pudding light, and it's very sweet. Um, some of the things I've done with it was I've made um, malasadas with them. I've done cheesecakes and various tart fillings. Today, pastry chef Ed Morita makes a coconut ulu cream puff, starting with steamed ulu. And then I puree it with uh, coconut milk and sugar. So it's basically kind of a healthier filling. He folds in whipping cream and pipes it into pastry shells. Oh no, perhaps Bulu will soon produce enough breadfruit for the Peros family to make these yummy dishes. And those dishes were all great. Now, Bornhorst says if you prune your tree and keep it, you know, in a proper way, you can keep it at the pickable level. That so it's is not so too important. High, right? <laughs> so you really can fit almost any yard. Ho'ulu Ka'ulu will be holding another workshop that's on Kauai. So for more information on the workshop and on farming ulu, just visit the As Seen On section of KITV.com. Just in time for dinner, you make me want to try that. Yeah. It looks good. <laughs>